Well, we reported earlier this week on the source of campaign donations in Montana's two top electoral contests this year for the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House, but there's another even bigger piece of campaign spending in these contests almost entirely in the Senate race. MTN's chief political reporter Mike Dennison gives us a breakdown on the flood of money spent so far this Montana campaign season by outside political groups. As of this week, outside groups have now spent more than $33 million on Montana's closely watched U.S. Senate contest, a new record for a single election here. Democratic incumbent John Tester's campaign has outraised Republican Matt Rosendale's campaign by $14 million, but conservative and Republican Party groups have spent almost $21 million on ads, mailers, and other activity this year to help even the playing field, supporting Rosendale or attacking Senator Tester. And that amount doesn't include the cost of President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence visiting the state a half dozen times to stump for Rosendale. Some of the big spenders on behalf of Rosendale include the National Republican Senatorial Committee at $4.7 million, Club for Growth Action at $3.7 million, the Republican Senate Leadership Fund nearly $3 million, and a pair of PACs supported by Illinois billionaire donor Richard Uline, Restoration PAC and America's PAC, which have spent $3.7 million combined. All told, 22 separate groups have spent on behalf of Rosendale. But protester groups are not sitting on the sidelines. 18 of these groups have spent almost $13 million primarily attacking Rosendale. They include the Democratic Party groups Senate Majority PAC and Majority Forward, who've spent a collective $6 million, environmental group the League of Conservation Voters at nearly $2 million, and a group called End Citizens United, whose goal is to oppose unlimited money in politics, but it's spent $2.2 million to help tester. Montana State University political scientist David Parker says while these groups are spending big, the monetary advantage probably still goes to Tester with his substantial campaign fund. That's because candidates' campaigns pay lower rates for broadcast ads, so their money goes further. Montana's U.S. House race between Republican Congressman Greg Gianforte and Democrat Kathleen Williams also has seen some outside spending, but only about $400,000, and most of that on behalf of Williams. And with just six days until the election, what money's left to be spent will be chasing those few undecided voters who may decide both these races. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News.